man wanted for domestic violence. The local woman says that he brutally attacked her daughter while her children watched. Fox 10 News reporter Katie Weiss talked to the victim's mother today. She joins us now in the studio. Katie, what did you find out? Well, Bob, the victim's mother contacted us a couple days ago claiming her daughter had been horrendously beaten by a man named Jamar Webb. Well, just last night, police said they were looking for Webb to arrest him on domestic violence charges. So I caught up with the victim and her mother about what happened today. We want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are graphic. I'm just grateful today, and I'm serious. I am so grateful that I am not planning a funeral. And I knew it was nothing but the grace of God. Bessie Wheelis says her daughter suffered fractures to the face after she says her ex-boyfriend, Jamar Webb, beat her on September 30th in front of her children. The victim claims that Webb drove her and her children here to this house. She says when he pulled up in the driveway, he pulled her out of the car, beat her on the face and over the back of the head with a tree limb, and then took off running. My grandchildren are terribly afraid. And it, it affected them terribly. They saw the whole ordeal. And I, I just, and through it all, they've been victims as well. Police say now they're looking for Webb and they need your help to find him. Webb has an extensive criminal background dating back to 2005 with previous charges of domestic violence and assault. If you know anything about Jamar Webb's whereabouts, call Mobile Police at 251-208-7211. This month is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. If you are or know someone who is a victim of domestic violence, you can get local help at the Penelope House. Go to our website, fox10tv.com, for information on how the Penelope House can